So the question is, is it beneficial to take an enzyme supplement when having gut issues? So an enzyme can be good. So the, what, what we're talking about here when we say enzymes is that we have these proteins that help break down or dissolve our foods and uh, the byproducts of our foods. So our body is supposed to produce plenty of enzymes on its own. So we start off with digestive enzymes for sugars and carbohydrates in our mouth and it's secreted from our saliva glands. And then when it gets to the stomach, we don't really have enzymes in our stomach, but it's a stomach acid that kind of acts as the enzyme and, and it helps it break down and helps sanitize our foods and sterilize it. And then when it goes into the first part of the uh, small intestine, which is the next step below the stomach, then our pancreas releases digestive enzymes. We have our gallbladder, which releases bile, salt, bile acids to help break down fats. So between the pancreas and the gallbladder releasing the bile solids, or the bile salts, the bile acids, and the digestive enzymes that helps digest our food and break it down more thoroughly into the form it's supposed to be broken down into so that our body can absorb it properly. Uh, some people lack those enzymes. It's either because they might have a sluggish gallbladder or they have a sluggish or um, gunked up uh, bile duct perhaps or pancreatic duct and they're just not getting the enzymes there or they're in sympathetic overdrive. So we have uh, it's a whole conversation in itself, but we basically have our sympathetic which is fight or flight, and we have parasympathetic, which is rest and digest. So if you are stuck in parasympathetic, the, the, the fight or flight mode, your body's not worried about digestion. So think you're that squirrel, you're walking across the uh, lawn, you see a hawk, you're eating a peanut or a, uh, an acorn, the squirrel doesn't care about digesting that acorn. The squirrel wants to get the heck out of there because if it doesn't, it's not gonna live to, live to see another day. So who cares about digestion and nutrition at that point? So we're in flight or flight mode, same thing with us. Our blood supply and our resources get diverted to our heart and cardiovascular system and to our muscles so that we can run away or fight back. It less goes towards the digestive system. So we produce less stomach acid, we produce less digestive enzymes, and then our digestion doesn't work quite as well. So taking enzymes can be helpful in the short term if that's what your body needs. Again, we don't know unless we test, but, um, a couple things with that. One is you might not need it. And two is if you're just taking that so that you can continue doing all the wrong things, staying stressed out, staying in sympathetic mode and not taking care of what you need to take care of, then you're just putting a bandaid on it and you're just kind of prolonging the inevitable. Uh, we see that a lot in medicine. So if you have heartburn, take a heartburn medication to suppress the acid secretion, which helps with the symptoms of burning. But then what's that doing for your digestion, digestive function? So we, um, so one of the things the stomach does is produce the stomach acid to help break down and sanitize our foods. And if we're taking medications to counteract that, is that going to be good in the long run? And the answer is probably 